Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I am going to a summer barbecue. I'm going to a one-year-old's birthday today. So Will and I are driving out there. It's like an hour away. And so we're gonna be outside in the sun. So I'm gonna be getting ready with you guys for that. I'm going to do like really soft, glowy makeup because I don't wanna be wearing like too much makeup because I don't wanna be looking crazy for a one-year-old's birthday. Um, so we're gonna do something more on the natural side, but um, it's like Wiggles themed. I don't, I've never heard of the Wiggles before, but I'm gonna be wearing a yellow shirt. So I thought pink makeup would be really pretty to go with the yellow. And I wanted to try out a couple new products that I got from Charlotte Tilbury. So I recently got the Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette and I got the dark version of the Glowgasm palette. I did a first impression with the light version of this palette, so if you haven't seen that yet, I'm gonna link the video up above. You can click and go and see my impression of that one. I have used both of these products before, but only on clients, not on myself, so I'm gonna do first impressions for these today. The Pillow Talk palette has really pretty pink tones in it, so it's perfect for a pink look. I'm not gonna talk too much, I'm gonna jump right into this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that more people can see it too and I will see you guys at the end of the video. So I'm just gonna put this part in fast motion and then we'll talk again when we get to the new products. Monday's blue, Tuesday's gray and Wednesday too Thursday, I don't care about you It's Friday, I'm in love Monday, you can't fall apart Tuesday, Wednesday, break my heart Or oh, Thursday, doesn't even start It's Friday break into this guy right here. This is the Glowgasm palette in the medium dark shade. It's called Lovegasm. These were a limited edition. I'm sure Charlotte still has a few on her website. This is what the palette looks like. So I actually bought this for my kit. I actually bought this and the eyeshadow palette for my kit because this I feel like will work really nicely for medium and deeper skin tones. And the eyeshadow palette is really popular colors right now as well, so I actually bought them both for my kit, but I want to try them out myself as well. I really love like this color as like a blush shade on more fair skin, so yeah, anyways. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this bronzer. I'm gonna be pretty light-handed because I feel like it's gonna be quite dark. I've been bringing my bronzer a little bit higher onto my cheeks lately, kind of on the apples of my cheeks, um, and onto my nose as well. I like the sort of sun-kissed look across the bridge of the face here. 
And then to go with the pinkier shades in the Pillow Talk palette, I'm gonna use this pinkier undertoned highlight right here. This color I love so much on the cheeks, but I don't think that color is gonna go with the look that I'm doing today. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter shade right here and dust that onto the high points of my face. And then I'm gonna take this highlight shade right here, which is really nice and golden, and I'm gonna dust that right on the very tippy tops of my cheeks. So I'm definitely feeling like those shades don't give as much as of a dramatic impact as the shades in the light palette. Let me just show you them side by side. So this palette right here is the one that's made for my skin tone. So when I use these highlights, they actually show up as like really pretty highlights. But because the shades in here are deeper, um, they don't highlight my skin as much. But it's obviously not made for me, so uh, that's just the way it's gonna be. So because I just want a little bit more highlight, I'm just gonna take my Becca Champagne Pop and just add a little bit of that right on the high points as well. And then I'm just gonna take this brush with no product on it and just sort of buff that into the skin. So yeah, first impression. I do really love this palette and I think I will like this color right here on myself this one right here on myself but I don't want to use that today because it's not gonna go with my look so maybe I'll try that again in another video but yeah if you have a more medium skin tone I think you'll really like this one as much as I like the light one okay so I'm gonna move along and I will come back on and talk to you guys again when we get to the eyes Okay, so I just used the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Shadow in Rose Gold as a base. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my eyeshadow now. So like I said, I don't wanna do anything too dramatic. This is what the Pillow Talk palette looks like. So really pretty kind of nude pink shades. So I think I wanna stay mostly here and here. So I'm just gonna go ahead with this color right here. She knows I really love this old music Since I was a child, it's been my dream And then I'm gonna take this shade right here and add it to the outer corner So that color I really liked as soon as I put it down, but I don't know if you can tell, I did get a lot of fallout, which is not really typical for Charlotte Tilbury shadows. And I realize I keep saying that because I was saying that during my video about the Icon palette as well, but I swear they don't usually have fallout like that. Brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of that pink shade right there again and run that underneath my eye. And then I'm gonna stick my finger in the pop shade right here and add that right to the center of the lid. Really pretty palette. Uh, typical Charlotte Tilbury shadow formula from what I can tell. Um, this color was not really as brightening as I thought it would be, but that's okay because I can just add a little bit of highlight to the very inner corner of my eye where I wanted to just be a little bit brighter. This shadow did seem a little bit softer than some of Charlotte's other shadows. Really pretty, uh, highly recommend if you're looking for something natural and like trendy. These blush tones are really popular right now, so yeah. I would definitely recommend picking it up if you are thinking about trying it out. So I'm just going to take a nude eyeliner and line the inside of my eye. This one is the Bigger Brighter Eyes, again from Charlotte Tilbury. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead with my Maybelline Gel Liner in brown, and I'm gonna try and do a small wing. You know how it goes, sometimes we try to do something small and it ends up gigantic, but we're gonna take it slow and steady and hopefully get what we want. And I will come back when I'm finished and say goodbye to you guys. Stuff smells amazing. Living proof stuff smells so good. So I did get a request on my last video for a hair care video. So I'm gonna do that um, probably in my next vlog. Just go a little bit more in depth about the products that I use in my hair. There's not really that much. Um, but these are two of my kind of favorites right now. Well, all my hair care is my favorites, but yeah. Anyways, we'll go more in depth on that in another video. I use the Pillow Talk Lip Liner and Dolly Bird Liquid Lipstick. And that is the final look. We are rushing to get out of here. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below so that I know you were here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.